three. We have the top. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Coming up shortly is going to be max Q, that maximum aerodynamic pressure as we go uphill on the vehicle. Max Q. on. Loose back burn shut down. Heard confirmation there of good loose back burn shut down. H2 tank pressure is normal. Lots of excitement. So right here, this is <laughs> this is our view of the jettisoned hot stage. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a temporary fix to help uh, reduce the weight of the booster. Uh, so we have the super heavy booster. Future iterations will have a lighter weight integrated hot. See those grid fins on your left hand screen, rotating and turning okay, to guide the booster. And there's that landing burn. just begun and you can see the water below and we have splashdown what an incredible sight congratulations to the SpaceX team to hear Amazing views once again from Starship. We have our second Starship in space. These live views being brought to us by Starlink, which is on board the ship. Dan, what an incredible view we have once again. So exciting. We got another ship in space. Those once they're deployed. So a lot more exciting stuff coming up in the future. But we saw this demonstrated a cup in a couple of high altitude flight tests. This is, the, this is the same view that we had when we first uh, returned from the. When that last signal was coming at 65 kilometers. So again, what what we're really looking at here is the performance of the heat shield of the flaps of the seals and the flaps. There's just a whole bunch of different areas that we're keeping a really close eye on as we re-enter. Starship remains on a good entry trajectory. And if you keep you keep an eye on our speed, the speed is dropping. We're, we're hitting the thicker part of the atmosphere now. The speed's going to start dropping precipitously. We're going to start getting to, to transonic pretty soon. And then after that, we'll get into subsonic, where we're we're moving less than this. Ben, it's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> this is wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. How far can it go? <laughs> that is the question. Keep your eye on the altitude in the bottom right-hand corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. Now, ultimately, the data is the payload today. We've been saying it multiple times. We're the, you know, our teams are, are sitting, uh, reviewing this data live, learning where the hot spots are. As you can see, there's an obvious <laughs> hot spot there with the flap, um, and learning how we can improve this design. The goal was to get as far through this high, uh, this high heat re-entry as possible. <laughs> we wish we could see more, but we'll take it. Starship is at two kilometers altitude, terminal velocity. Landing beam start up for Starship. All right, good news there. Nominal to the pressure. Landing board start up. Starship is in landing bone. 
Manning Burn Shipper. The, the landing bird shutdown was commanded 